Yeah, no, I, I was I was proud because it. I mean, I I talked a little bit, but it was everybody. It wasn't like I was the only person talking in that locker room. And we just challenged each other, man, to leave everything out there. And I, I don't want to say we played tight in the first half, but it, you didn't see that same joy that we play with. And I wanted guys to just know that everything we worked for is for this moment. You have to enjoy this moment. You can't you can't let the moment overtake you. Um, and um, I thought the guys did that in the second half, and they fought to the very end. Um, and that's all you can ask uh, is guys to leave everything they have on the football field. It's hard, man. It's, it hasn't even sank in, I don't think, even yet. I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because of the failures. I mean, the failure of losing the Super Bowl and, and losing the AFC Championship game, it, may, it gives you a greater appreciation to be standing here as a champion. Um, and uh, luckily, I'm going to Disneyland now, so I have Disney World and Disneyland crossed off, and I'll have to make some more parks so I can go around everywhere and do a world tour. I mean, it felt great until I, I, I kind of rolled it a little bit. Um, I, I thought I felt really good, and then that happened, and I had a, a lot of soreness going through into halftime and was able to move it around and kind of get taped up a little bit and, and go out there in that second half. And um, it didn't feel good, but I was going to leave it all out there, and uh, I, I'm glad it was enough for the win. And we were down by 10 points, so it's not that, it's not that much um, with the way our defense plays and shutting people down and, and the way our offense plays by scoring points. So it's just a matter of straightening out a couple things. And um, the guys always believe. They never don't believe. Um, they always think they're in the game. He grew, he grew up in a locker room. He's seen the greats. And he strives to be the greatest. I mean, without saying anything, that's the way he works. I mean, he wants to be the greatest player ever. That's, that's what he wants to do, and that's the way he goes about his business, and he does it humbly, you know? I mean, there's no bragging. Uh, he could stand up here and give you the, these stats that are incredible that he's had, but he never, he's never going to do that. That's just not him, and so uh, we, appreciate, we appreciate that. And then when it's time for the guys around to raise their game, he helps them with that. He, he's one of these great – the great quarterbacks make everybody around him better, including the head coach. So he's, he's done a heck of a job. Well, I, I, listen, Adam, if they'll have me, I'll stick around. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yep, thank you, guys.